Hey guys, I'm Oak. I'm Zaire. And I'm Trevor. And this is Music, Music Notes Song, Song Spotlight. Spotlight. When we initially started that, that production and started to write that song, we had been like playing with just gospel, gospel progressions and pop songs. So I had a chord progression in mind when, when we walked into the session. I was like, man, I got this crazy progression in my head that's just gonna blow everybody away. And uh, I sat down and pulled up this really cool instrument and started playing that progression. And uh, yeah, she didn't she didn't respond to it at all. <laughs> so I'm like I'm like murdering this chord progression, and I turn around and she's like, uh, "Yeah, that's cool." I'm like, "Oh shoot!" And then um, I can't remember who it was. I think it was you that said, no, "Pull up an 808." I, like, I think you just did that. No, I yeah, think, I think that was just. I could have swore one of y'all said, "Yo, yo." Uh, it wasn't me, it was probably <laughs> Trev. <laughs> so then I pulled up the patch and started playing it, and she immediately responded to it. Funny thing about that is that it's, you know, it's really just that chord loop. And then um, as a placeholder, I went on uh, a website called Splice and grabbed a snap and just sort of put it on the two and four. And they started writing to just that, the 808 and the snap. We started the session at 12. She had to be out by five. Right. And so, oh, that's right. We had limited time. Yeah, we had like a small we had like time. three hours to from start to finish because we had to talk, get to know her. Part of the process is also sort of getting in there and sort of endearing yourselves to each other and becoming fast friends. So I think when it comes to like a collaborative effort, you really have to like befriend these people. Like you really got to be like super cool and super energetic because you can be like off one day, but because you were cool, that person may come back just off the basis that you were like real. a really cool person. Yeah. The table upstairs for this building is the heartbeat of the building, in my opinion. It's, it's where we all sort of congregate to eat, to break bread. And part of the sort of friendship building that happens in a lot of my relationships have happened upstairs at that table. Like, there have been times where I had an artist walk through the door and we start and it's cool, and then we order food and food gets here. We break, we go upstairs, we eat, we talk for an hour. And then you walk downstairs and then the energy is totally different. It's very, very important, I think, to be able to form that camaraderie. I think the other thing that you can bring to a collaboration though, enough knowledge about yourself to know what you lack so that you can identify other people's strengths. Zaire is one of the most amazing drum programmers I've ever worked with. And I've worked with some pretty amazing ones. Trevor's knowledge of unique reference points as a producer is one of his biggest assets to me. You know, you put your ego aside and you say, okay, I know I'm good at this shit, but I know he's better at it. So you do this, and I think if you do this, it's gonna be fire. 